Hey everybody, here's a fast lick using two fills over a C7 chord. One, two, three, four. So you can look at it as a whole bass line or just uh, the two fills you can use in all kinds of, of bass lines, for instance if I say So it fits everything that is just in C. So the bass line itself is like a solo groove where we start on the root note, typical from the second to the third of the chord, from A. D, D sharp, E, which is the third of C. Uh, and a variation could be to take the chromatic approach to the third from the F, D sharp, E. So that's the main bass line. Fill. In the first fill, I'm using a lot of pull-offs, hammer-ons and open strings, of course, as I always do. So, uh, let's play the bass line first. I'm playing a... First a little uh, upbeat from the open G string. Flat, which is the minor seven, pull off to the G and an A, pull off to the G, and then an F, open string G, and then a minor third sliding up to the major third, E flat to E. I think I'm actually handling that, so it's I wasn't hammering, I was sliding. So the first fill, including the bass line. Second fill. Second fill comes rhythmically in the same place as one, two, one, two. The second film, also with a little upbeat on the open A string, muted, it can be muted, it can just be an A, then a B flat, B flat, pull off to the open A string, and then a G, and an A, open A, and a G. So the second fill, including the little bass line. The whole thing. Three, four. In short, to stay healthy, always use the open strings. See ya.